Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Albuquerque's concerns over balloon fiesta address. Dine-In announces fast install line. SpaceX awarded three additional crew missions. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Albuquerque's concerns over balloon fiesta addressed. The FAA has addressed some worries of locals eager to see the continuation of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta set for its 50th anniversary. Local event planners have been concerned over certain regulations that they worried would force the affair out of its home due to airspace restrictions and the lack of ADSB equipment in the balloons. The city prides itself as the hot air balloon capital of the world and worries that ADSB restrictions will neuter the industry in Albuquerque. Last year, the Fiesta received a waiver for the event in order to fly in the extensive Class C airspace that spans the majority of attractive tourist spots in the valley. The event planners had hoped to repeat the waivers again this year, but inquired of the FAA to ensure the process would have a solid chance of working. The balloons as-is have little provision to install active ADS-B, lacking electrical systems. The agency returned a statement saying, quote, The FAA has determined that large events, such as the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, will not be affected due to advanced planning, waivers, notice to air missions, and other mitigations for a large air show. The FAA is leading a cross-organizational work group to explore possible solutions to other concerns relating to balloon flights in the Albuquerque area, end quote. After the break, announcement. Now accepting applications for Sun and Fun 2022 stringers. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Announcement, now accepting applications for Sun and Fun 2022 stringers. ANN is offering opportunities for aviation fans who have serious skills as writers, photographers, or videographers to join our crew at Sun and Fun this year and get the chance to see all of Lakeland as a stringer. We're especially interested in people with experience in shooting and or producing video and audio segments. You might be able to join ANN and get an inside view of one of the most exciting events in the aviation world. Just reach out to jim at aero-news.net if interested. PlaneSense standardizes on GoGo. Fractional aircraft company PlaneSense has announced the integration of GoGo Business Aviation's Advance L3 systems across its fleet of Pilatus aircraft, granting internet access from altitudes as low as 3,000 feet. The company operates just under 40 PC-12s with 7 PC-24 jets, the majority of which already run the Avance L3 systems. Moving to standardize the handful that have been yet to be upgraded allows for better, streamlined connectivity and simplified management for the company. FAA empowers boards and certification process. The FAA has announced progress in their use of independent external safety experts for certification of aircraft. The expansion affects technical advisory boards, 
groups composed of private and public safety experts for certification and commercial, GA, and autonomous aircraft. The changes augment the previous Aircraft Certification, Safety, and Accountability Act. Now different levels of boards will be specified for differing projects, dependent upon the quote project scope and the risk the aircraft could pose when it enters into service, end quote. VANS issues RV-12 Service Bulletin. VANS has issued a service bulletin for RV-12 and RV-12IS aircraft, specifically requiring owners to inspect the lower portion of the tail cone for cracks and install stiffening equipment to bolster them should damage be found. VANS issued the warning after receiving reports of cracking along the lower tail cone skins of RV-12 near the tail bulkheads observed along the center line of the plane. Even if cracking is not evident, owners are required to install the support clips. If damage is uncovered, then an additional patch plate will need to be fabricated and installed. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Dynan announces fast install line. Dynan has capitalized on the home built assembly market with their new line of fast track avionics setups. The system streamlined the often tiresome process of wiring a panel with Dynan Skyview modules, displays, electrical harnesses, and racks readied for installation out of the box. Their near domination in the LSA segment has earned them many fans, not just because of the affordability in comparison to larger name brands, but the company's response to its core audience of home builders and sport aviators. Thanks to the fast track system, the most tiresome jobs of finishing a home avionics build, like designing a dash panel layout, designing and mounting custom brackets, and wrapping them all together with neatly tucked, organized wiring, can be simplified to an almost plug and play experience. Packages are available in VFR and IFR editions, with the Base Essentials VFR Suite running $1,995, which includes the necessary Skyview modules, less display, like ADSB, network hubs, and the necessary mounting equipment. The IFR edition adds an IFR Navigator module to the same kit for a modest price bump to $2,565 at list. Additional tray kits and mounting guides are available for center stacks, comms panels, and autopilot functions. After these messages, SpaceX awarded three additional crew missions. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. SpaceX awarded three additional crew missions. NASA has awarded another trio of missions to SpaceX for more of their crew transportation services to the ISS, reaffirming the use of the company for six more crew missions in all. The modification to their previous commercial crew transportation capability contract reaffirms the agency's reliance upon SpaceX. Now the company will launch a total of nine missions, three more than initially expected at the outset of the CCT CAP program as SpaceX takes up the slack of its competition. The contract comes at an eye-watering $3,490,872,904 for the fixed price, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity agreement. NASA carefully notes, however, that the sole source modification does not preclude them from looking for additional contract mods in the future 
for additional transportation services. SpaceX has increasingly become the go-to for NASA's crew missions as the primary competitor, the Boeing Starliner, has suffered delays and issues in taking flight. Since its first mission in November 2020, SpaceX has undertaken two crew rotation missions using its proprietary Crew Dragon spacecraft with another currently in progress. In NASA service, each voyage carries four astronauts and additional cargo needed for continued experimentation and living aboard the ISS, replenishing stocks, removing garbage, and updating projects. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.